Hi, my name is George Ann Eubanks. I'm the writer of the Literary Trails of North Carolina guidebook series. There have been quite a number of writers who have come to the North Carolina mountains and been so smitten with the beauty of the nature, with the character of the people, with the way they talk, and they've wanted to write about it. Almost to a person, these outsiders who've come to the mountains to write have not been accepted, and their works have been shunned by the local folks. One notable exception was Horace Kephart, who arrived by train from St. Louis in the early part of the 20th century. Kephart was trained as a librarian. He had traveled in Italy and hiked in the Alps and the Apennines. He loved the mountains. And when his job got to be too much for him at the St. Louis Library, he hopped this train to come to North Carolina. He said he wanted to go to the back of beyond. He befriended lots of native folks, and he learned their ways. He studied how they cooked, how they camped, how they hunted, and how they made corn liquor. He wrote a book called Camp Cookery, which is just a delight, and it's still in print after all these years. I wanted to read you just a little bit about his treatise on the opossum. To call our possum an opossum outside of a scientific treatise is an affectation. Possum is his name wherever he is known and hunted this country over. He is not good until you have freezing weather, nor is he to be served without sweet potatoes except in desperate extremity. It is said that possum is not hard to digest, even when eaten cold, but the general verdict seems to be that none is ever left over to get cold. That's Horace Kephart and his cookbook. Thank you.